Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. I wanted to take a moment and show you guys the standard Bic lighter and how to turn that into the ultimate fire starting tool. So a lot of these lighters have this safety mechanism in here. It makes it a lot more difficult to use your lighter, especially if your hands are cold or you don't have a lot of dexterity. So you want to use a flat screwdriver and a pair of pliers and pull that safety mechanism out of there. Pops out just like that and makes your lighter a lot easier to use. All right, so the next thing we want to do is take our jute twine and wrap it up about three quarters of the way on our lighter. And this will actually be the most difficult part here. So you want to grab a section of your rope here, put a bite in it, and then place this on top of your lighter. And so we're going to shoot for about three quarters of the way up the lighter. We'll grab our long end and we'll just start wrapping that around the lighter. As we're wrapping this up, we want to stop when you have about the thickness of your duct tape or your Gorilla Tape. That's probably close enough right there. We'll go ahead and take our knife out and cut the long end of this string. So we'll go ahead and take our loose end and pass it through the hole we created. Then we'll take our long end here in the back of our lighter. We'll start pulling that tag end through. Sometimes this will break on you, but if it breaks and it's about halfway or a little more, you'll be okay. All right, so that's about right there. I could see the bubble on there. So we'll cut this other side. And now we're ready to put our duct tape on there. Alright guys, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and start a couple fires with this. So to start our fire, I'm going to use some of that extra jute twine I had. But essentially you're just going to want to undo these little twistings in here. So there would be two main parts depending on what kind of twine you have. Mine has two on there. We'll untwist that so you got two pieces of it. And we'll grab these individual fibers and just start splitting them out. Keep on doing this as much as you need until you have a large enough bird's nest to start a fire. We'll go ahead and light this guy. Starts off really fast, really hot. More than enough to start your fire with. The next thing we could do is start our fire with our duct tape. So our duct tape, we want to tear these into long strands and just keep making little pieces of it. So after we shred up our duct tape here, you want to make a ball, but you don't want to crush the ball. You want to make sure it has a lot of air and loft in the middle of it. 
If you crush it down into a hard plastic ball, it won't burn nowhere near as well.